Avian Extermination Act. I'm gonna get rid of all the birds. Powerful commercial. Vote for me, I shoot the bad computers. So, Jeff is also not super clear of mind at the moment either. I have to admit, I am suckered into this uh, mystery now. That is also suspicious. What the hell? Okay. Unless it's for some kind of epic sexy time. <laughs> wow, look at that swimming pool. Mystery intensifies. Good morning, high city. A day in the light. I was on my own, catching a ride. Let's catch up with the Paralyses. I don't know how to pronounce their name properly. So these are the guys that um, Judy was referring to earlier, where we helped them investigate the death of the mayor. Looked pretty suspicious, but we still don't know 100%. So let's go and hang out with the Pirellas and see what they're wanting to do. Because they're... Well, I think her husband is running for mayor or something. Okay, come on. Let's get distracted with something else. <laughs> I need to do something else. Uh, let us in. Let us in. Give us the mission. Hey, we're upstairs. Thanks. Up we go. Oh. All right. Give us a less rough <laughs> mission. Something less uh, confronting than that was. It's hey. good to see you again. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meeting here, so nobody will bother us. We're talking about we'll the cornerstone of my platform. Doing what, exactly. I'm not doing a U-turn just because. You'll I know in a minute. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Okay. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind though so unusual how a couple of days back dead of night something wakes me a noise i grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom see a stranger he looks like he's about to reach for it so i pull the trigger nail him no idea my head started spinning and i passed out hmm. no trace of him the morning after i'd like you to find him find out what he wanted was grizzed and his quick hacks. Why me of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it. Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. Hmm. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Oh, I wonder if they've got something to do with it then. Intruder, take anything. Break anything. Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. 
Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell me? Or think maybe you should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment? Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. All righty. Hmm, all right, I'm stumped. Let me show you around. I reckon he was drugged. Could have been a hallucination. Or he was just drugged and... We shouldn't delay too long. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. Out on the balcony. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's yep. office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Big office. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him here. Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Hmm. Cool, all right, so now we examine. Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Not good for you. Avian Extermination Act. I'm gonna get rid of all the birds. The AEA was adopted by Night City around, yeah, yeah purpose. The face of increasingly frequent and deadly zoo, zoonotic disease outbreaks. The council city has decided that the most effective method for reducing the risk of infection among residents is via extermination of all avian life within 18 miles of city limits. Wow. So back in 2063, they decided to annihilate all the birds. 
This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Oh. Okay, so random video clip of Jeff talking or giving a speech or something. No sound, just video. That's a commercial. Okay. Alt for Pedro. The camera just pans in and then it starts again, does it? Yes, no. Why has he got a pistol? Oh, all right, that's a powerful ad. Powerful commercial. Vote for me, I shoot the bad computers. It'll fight for you. All right, very good. Any messages? New campaign ad. You know what, Leah? I hate this commercial. I really do. A gun shooting a stack of legislation doesn't get cruder than this. What happened to running a campaign based on dignity and giving my voters the respect they deserve? Jeff, with all due respect to you and your voters, these commercials are wedged between Watson Hoare and Guns and Horses. Your commercials need to communicate with voters in a language they'll understand. All right, yeah, fair enough. Know your audience. Always know your audience. Mercenary, Mr. Perales, your wife has informed my employees that you intend to hire a mercenary in regard to the dubious circumstances surrounding Mayor Ryan's untimely death. I understand your concern. But I can assure you it's best to leave this matter to the police. Should you have reservations as to the police's integrity, then please consider allowing my people to look into it. On behalf of my team, I can show you total and complete discretion. That's Wallace, Chief of Security. Okay. Debates. Hey Jefferson, I'll need you to toss a glance at some of the key aspects of the program. In particular, my suggestions concerning their anti-corporate stance. I feel like we haven't been on the same page in certain things recently. I don't know who this Eric dude is. Eric, your tactfulness can sometimes be can be seriously annoying. As your chief advisor, I feel obliged to tell you this, Jeff. I know how important the public's perception of you is, but if you continue to antagonize the corpse, you'll be depriving this campaign of sources of potential funding and leaving us vulnerable to attacks by much more powerful actors. Don't make matters worse, Jeff, please. It's a, con it's a question of sincerity, Eric of staying true to one's ideals, not about pandering to the public. Besides, do you think I'm some kind of amateur? I know where the limits lie and the corpse know it too. I know how the game is played. Set your mind at, <laughs> set your mind at ease. A good night. Fair enough. It's just that lately you've been acting a little bit unpredictable. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a position that's taking us a long way. I'm just worried that you'll cross a line at some point. Anyway, remember to get a good night's sleep. You'll need a clear head. Well, if this guy is anti-corp and he's trying to be clean, I'm all for it. He's got my vote, even if he does shoot computers and papers. From Jeff to Eric. What happened? Jeff, could you explain to me why Leah's still here? I thought we let her go. Did something change? I don't follow. What are you talking about? Well, she's just here, like nothing has happened. She sent me a new ad today that apparently you approved. Am I going crazy or something? Eric, what the hell are you on about? Who told who told you to fire her? Because it's mostly... This is Eric saying, why is she still here? That ran the wrong way. Okay, so... Eric, what the hell are you talking about? Who told you to fire her? Because it most definitely wasn't me. If you've got something against her, then speak up. As far as I'm concerned, Leah stays. Not like she was going anywhere to begin with. Pull yourself together, Eric. Okay, I must be imagining things. Forget I brought it up. All right, so something a bit odd about Eric. Can we ask about Eric? What was that? Vote for Pirellas. Vote for Pirellas. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Mm-hmm. Yep, well that will definitely invite attention. Out here.
are these boxes? Yeah, that's all. We got a picture. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Okay. I'm gonna say she might be a liability or at risk, but if she's away, maybe that's safer. Okay, sure. All right, what other rooms have we got? Department of Law at Asukaga Berkeley. Hmm, classy. You and Jeff graduated from the same school. Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. A charity founded by Richard Knight's widow. They helped a lot of underprivileged kids with ambitions. I think Richard Knight is who founded Knight City and who the city is named after. I think. What about this computer? Ads campaign from Elizabeth Perales. Honey, I appreciate how much you want to help during your academic break, but I think it's best if you stay where you are for now. Everything here is under control. You should spend this time focusing on yourself. Take advantage of everything Europe has to offer. Love, Mom. I get it. This is about me becoming a target if I get involved in the campaign. I heard Ryan died of a heart attack. I'm not a gonk. <laughs> I know that Night City mayors have a habit of leaving their jobs in a coffin. It's fine. Don't worry. Just watch out for yourselves, all right? And do what your security tells you. Yes, smart girl. She knows the deal. Help with a private matter. From Elizabeth to Judy. Ah, this is when she pinged to Judy to put her into contact with us. Dear Miss Alvarez, I'm writing on... Oh, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There's, there is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping that you will return the favour Jeff once did for the mocks. And we count on you. Ah, so Jeff must have helped the mocks become independent. Um, away from the gangs? Okay. I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? It's about certain brain dance. I'll be honest, the matter is of a highly delicate nature and discretion of as much... And discretion as much as professional analysis is paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It does go without saying that you'll be well compensated for your trouble. Believe me, I would if I could, but my hands are really tight at the moment. I know someone you can call, though. She's a merc known quantity at the uh, afterlife. Does preem tier work? They call her V. Yeah, we do preem. We are the preem. Thank you for the referral. Uh, Eric to Elizabeth. Hey Liz, sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leia Patel? Leia Patel? One day we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day when I bring it up, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is what you agreed on just slipped his mind. Plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain circumstances have changed in favour of Leia remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff, and let's all just put this matter behind us. Understood. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah. So, Jeff is also not super clear of mind at the moment either. wonder if maybe... Maybe he's compromised or something. Maybe he's... Cyberware's compromised. It's not entirely unheard of. Fucking hell, this is a massive apartment. Anything else to look at? Actually, was there anything else I need to look at? Near. No. Non pure. Alright. Look at this. Is this the master bedroom? That's a gun. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine. I, this is where we sleep. It's her gun. I need to take it. Is it a special gun? Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. 
Anything seem out of the ordinary? The bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. I have to admit, I am suckered into this uh, mystery now. I think Wedding we can solve day. it. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. Blue roses. You sure? Roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. That is also suspicious. What the hell? That doesn't... Oh, now I'm suspicious of her. She a doppelganger. She like one of those cyber psychos we took out that was made to look like someone else. Error answered. I am... That's just some stories. Okay. Anything else we can see? What was this anyway? What do you need this over your bed for? Seems... Maybe it does a protective shield or something? That is serious hardware with a lot of cables. Okay. Unless it's for some kind of epic sexy time. <laughs> oh, nice ensuite. Can we have a shower? Nope. In mirror, nope, we're not doing that. Okay, there's literally nothing to look at in here. Campaign in the tub, that would be cool. Awesome view. Alright, um, the more we investigate, the more questions we're getting rather than answers. Yes, or we won't go there yet. Oh, yeah. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. down there. Computer down there to look at. We'll have a look at that shortly. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. What do you think, Johnny? Oh, we've got skills. We can fix it. We've got maximum tech skills. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kind of good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. That happened to the screen a lot, or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? Didn't see it? No. What? Uh, never mind. Yeah. Something going on. Something's messing with their cyberware, I reckon. Okay. And to find where the blood trail leads. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing. Oh, we can force this door open. <laughs> right in front of her. Ooh, what is this? Care to explain? Jesus Christ. Think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects? Uh, 
Yeah. Violated our privacy. Sons of bitches. Under my own roof. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. Good choice. My head. Oh no. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Oh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, there's some mm. strange computer. I'm gonna look at the thing downstairs as well, though. What is this? Use meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Before we scan that, I actually want to downstairs if I can, because something was downstairs. This was highlighting on my scanner. Jack in. So it's just just a normal hack point, nothing special. We can use it. Oh, okay. No, there is some stuff in here. What have we got? Nine connected devices, remote takeover. Have a look at cameras. Yeah. Well, we're certainly being thorough in our investigation anyway. Don't want to miss any details. And there is us. Or why we're crouching to use the computer, but that's what we're doing. Wow, look at that swimming pool. That is prime. Exit. It's another book, the Max Tech Wave, and Matthias, whoever. Files. File deleted. File deleted. So the security footage is all missing. Yep. Maintenance procedures from Wallace, Chief of Security, to the Perellas family. To all teams, we're coming up to our scheduled maintenance works. You know the drill. Only one necessary agent will remain on site. In the meantime, the security system will be switched off and scrubbed clean. To all teams, despite making any reservations known target alpha has decided to contact a mercenary to look into a political matter though alpha's worries might be justified an outsider on site raises serious concerns if you encounter the mercenary in question do not talk to them unless otherwise instructed regardless carry on with their duties in accordance with standard procedure so they don't want them talking to us as we investigate and what's this More messages. Welcome on board. New recruits. Urgent. We have an urgent situation on the main site. There is a behavioral anom anomaly during maintenance works and Blue Agent was injured by Target Alpha. Alpha is secure, but Blue is in critical condition. I'm requesting emergency access to Sector Zero in order to retrieve medical supplies. So Sector Zero must be that dodgy room that we're in. It looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Yep. I cannot grant remote access to Sector Zero, but the access code to the main room is 6709. You can remotely control access to Sector Zero from this terminal. I've informed management of the situation and a black echelon rescue team is already on its way. Oh, we just ripped our way in there. So if you can't force the door open, I guess that's how you've got to get in there. Okay. okay. Anything else to look at down here? It's 
obviously this is the other part of the apartment that we've already seen. Alright, let's go back up to that strange room. On Elizabeth, you okay? Shard. Rewiring synaptic pathways. That's rewiring brain stuff. Chapter one, the future of neurotechnology. They why they got references on this. It's definitely got to do with weird blackouts and weird memories. Right. Whatever that is. And unknown tech. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Hypnosis? Wonder if it's like hypnosis or something. Hello, the cables. I mean, the cables that go up into the roof. Those cables go over there. Yeah, so maybe they're hypnotizing them doing something during their sleep or whilst they're in the apartment well this is a weird oh this is up high well here's some cables oh is this a receiving thing yes odd tech's practically prehistoric but doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Find the transmission source. Oh, that looks suspicious. Got a on our receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Wonder if Elizabeth is doing okay because she's having headaches and shit. I'm expecting her to be suddenly unwell. So suspicious all the time. <laughs> oh, she's still here. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Well, it could be. Tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. Thanks. About to pay him a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. Um, suspicious of her again. So she got the color of the flowers wrong in her own wedding photo. And she's super keen to make sure we talk to her before we talk to Jeff. I still suspect her. Be a doppelganger or something. Mystery intensifies. Not a very pack action packed episode, this one, but. Oh, well, I'm, I'm into the mystery. I'm intrigued. I want to know what's going on. And these elevator rides are pretty long when they're up so high. Get a parachute to just base jump off the top of the building. That would be awesome. 
How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Good decision. It's a danger, pretty here in nice city.